understanding why the BLCD works. This is the next uh, segment in Dr. Mantor's Wrinkle and Weight Solutions series regarding the VLCD or very low calorie diet for my patients who are uh, undergoing a very low calorie diet for weight loss. So what you need to understand is that the minute a carbohydrate hits your tongue, the pancreas starts secreting insulin. That's how the digestive process starts. So a carbohydrate, of course, is a sugar of any kind. So it can be cookies, candy, um, pastas and breads, uh, even a fruit. So uh, we always thought, you know, we just need to eat our fruit, eat our fruit. It could be any kind of fruit, but it's a sugar. So the minute a sugar of any kind, even the good sugars, hit our tongue, the digestive process starts. And that digestive process includes um, the good sugars, and it causes the pancreas to start secreting insulin. Insulin's whole entire role in the body is to slow down your metabolism. It causes every calorie after um, that calorie that caused the insulin level uh, to raise, it causes every calorie after that to be uh, stored into fat cells. So you are in this slow metabolism storage mode. Um, so you're like a hibernating bear getting ready for winter. You're storing, storing, storing everything into your fat cells when your insulin levels are surged. So what a VLCD does is it cuts those carbohydrates, those sugars, and in about three to four days, your insulin levels drop. And therefore, you are increasing your metabolism. That is the basis for how the VLCD works. In addition, the name very low calorie diet means that it is very low in calories. You will never ever get away from the fact that uh, calories in and calories out is how you lose weight. But as everybody knows, you know those people who eat a ton of calories and are not overweight. So some people have different metabolic rates or burn more efficiently than others. We are trying with a BLCD to improve metabolic rates or improve the metabolism of people who have weight problems. And the way that we're doing that is by dropping their insulin levels and therefore increasing their metabolism. In addition, more recently in research, we found that insulin uh, has a whole nother mechanism of action in that it causes you to be hungry. Not many things cross the blood-brain barrier, meaning that they leave the bloodstream, go across the blood-brain barrier into the cerebrospinal fluid where the brain sits and um, where the spinal cord sits, that fluid there, that's the... That's, um, uh, leaving the bloodstream and going into the blood-brain barrier and affecting um, your neurotransmitting system, so your brain. Um, but insulin actually can. So insulin crosses the blood-brain barrier. And what does it do when it's there? It acts as a neurotransmitter like serotonin, norepinephrine, dopamine, those neurotransmitters in the brain. It... Uh, acts as a neurotransmitter when it's there and it what does it do it actually tells you that you're hungry so insulin is truly the devil because it's increasing your or i'm sorry uh, decreasing your metabolism slowing your metabolism down making you be like a hibernating bear storing everything for winter but it's also telling you that you're hungry when you shouldn't be because when you eat those carbohydrates you are surging your insulin, storing everything, and it's telling you you're hungry. And we've all experienced that when we have had, say, Chinese, and we're stuffed, and half an hour later, we're starving. It doesn't make sense that you're stuffed, and then half an hour later, you're starving. It's that rice. It surged your insulin level, and um, you're... You, you shouldn't be hungry because your stomach should still be full, but half an hour later you're starving. So that is actually that insulin crossing that blood-brain barrier and telling you that you're hungry when you shouldn't be. So what a VLCD does is it actually drops your insulin level. You can ex literally experience 
that uh, lack of hunger that comes with that drop in insulin um, within three to four days. That's how long it takes. And it really feels good not to have that feeling. Um, so follow up with um, some other videos and we will uh, talk further about what it feels like to have that dropping of your insulin level because um, there are some um, other sensations that come along with that and uh, we will go over those in more detail in another video. And uh, That's enough for this one and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.